from the Carrera Panamericana. The races don't run anymore, but who can blame us if we take it out one more time? Right? Let's see what this car can do. There's Jamin! Guess he wanted one last race. Let's do this! to F1 drivers, men, women, professionals, anyone who had a car. Do you know anyone who participated? Aleja thinks Papa Fernando did, but she thinks Papa Fernando did everything. I know we used to go to the races with my grandfather. Ah, que buenos recuerdos. There was no speed limit before training 12, and you'd see cars doing 180 miles per hour. Not that I'd know anything about that. 2,178 miles of the Pan American Highway run through Mexico. The race itself had nine stages and lasted five days. But the sheer distance wasn't the only challenge. Constant changes in the elevation from sea level to three kilometers up. The most challenging road race in the world. The winner of the very first Carrera Panamericana was Herschel McGriff drove an Oldsmobile 88 at an average speed of 88 miles per hour. The Porsche Carrera got its name thanks to Hans Hermann, who won the small sports cars category in 1954. He drove the Porsche 550 Spider, came third overall. Sick before the race, and his tires came off at the start. He really pulled through against the odds. Porsche had six cars competing in 1954, and all of them made it through the end. A lot of others didn't, let me tell you. Enjoyed yourself, are you? Yeah, I kind of had a feeling you were. 1954 was the last year the original Carrera Panamericana took place. But it gave us the most famous Porsche model, the Carrera you're driving right now. The Carrera RS 2.7 was the first production street racing 911. It was built on the 911S 2.4 the fastest Porsche you could buy at the time, and a popular choice in the later Carrera Panamericana races. The race was revived in 1988 and ran to 2016, staying true to the original races with high-speed road stages. The routes for the race were carefully selected every year by planning committee and local government to ensure they were race-worthy and that they can be closed up for two hours. You could almost say they've been preparing for the festival for a very long time. This is Jamie in Texas. Big fun, my friend. Take care. Looking forward to seeing what you could do out there. Have fun now, yeah? Great race. Almost like we did a little Panamericana with a friend. Anyways, hope you had fun with this little stroll through cars hechos in Mexico. It was great. And let me know if you uh, find any other cars like that. 